Okay, now we're on page 14, looking at number 42, warm up, breath support challenge. On this, the, the idea behind it is to try to hold that note as long as you can and keep working on holding it longer and longer every day. So we, it tells you to play out. We just take a big breath. And just keep trying to hold it longer and longer every time you do it. That'll help develop your embouchure better and it will also work on breath support. Okay, we're looking on page 14 now in your traditions book and we're looking at line 43. We have a new type of note here, it's called an eighth note. If you see that the eighth notes in this line are coming on the third beat and they're counted one, two, three, and four as you see on, on the screen there. The eighth notes are on beat three. The first eighth note comes on the beat because the quarter note in beat two took all of beat two. So that means whatever comes first in beat three starts right on the number. The eighth note gets a half a beat, so the second eighth note would come on the and or the up part of the beat. So if we clap and count that first measure, it would be like this. One, two, three, and four. Do that with me. Clap and count that first measure. Ready? One, two, three, and four. So now let's look at the entire line here of 43. We have four measures, and all four measures are counted the same. So let's, let's clap and count through number 43. Ready? Here we go. Ready, begin. One, two, three, and four. 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 Now, it says to repeat, but you can do that on, on your own. We won't do that on this video. We want to make sure that we keep those eighth notes even and steady. So if you're patting your foot, your foot would hit down on the numbers, and the and would be where the foot is all the way up. So it would be like one, two, three, and four for the quarter notes and eighth notes. So practice that some, and then we can play that together. Now let's play through number 43, epic eighth notes. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. You can keep backing that up and going over it as many times as you need, working on tonguing those eighth notes and keeping that pulse nice and steady. Try practicing this with a metronome. That will do a lot to help you keep your beat even. Okay, this is number 44, Michael Finnegan. We're going to take this in four measure sections. So we're going to say and finger the first four measures. So let's count and finger. Here we go. First four measures. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, and four. 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 Now let's play those four measures. Ready? Here we go. One, Two, begin now. Okay, now we'll look at the second ending. So we're going to go through the second ending looking at our key signature that tells us that every B and every E is flat. So every B and E that we have in this second ending is also flat. So let's say in finger, we have one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. So let's finger that second ending. One, two, playing it now. Okay, now we're ready to go all the way through number 44. Just keep working on these individual sections until you have them worked out nice and easy, and then we'll play all the way through it. Here we go. One, two, ready, now.
keep backing that video up and going over it until you can get all the way through this without making mistakes. Okay, we're looking at line 45 now, and the eighth notes here are put on beat four. So we would count that measure one, two, three, four, and. We have a quarter note on beat one that gets a full beat. So the second quarter note has to start on two. It gets a full beat. So the third quarter note has to start on three. It gets a full beat. So the first eighth note would have to come on four because that's the next available part of a beat. It gets a half a beat. So the second eighth note would come on and. So if we clap and count that first measure, it would look like this. One, two, three, Four and. So let's go ahead and clap all the way through the line. Here we go. One, two, begin with me. One, two, three, four and. 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 So if we're patting our foot, our foot's going down on one, down on two down on three, down on four, and up on and, and back to one. One, two, three, four, and one. So we keep the, e the eighth note even, and those eighth notes are coming on beat four. Now we're ready to go ahead and play through the line. Now let's play through line number 45, eighth note escape. Here we go. One, two, begin. Notice that those eighth notes were on beat four. So we're counting one, two, three, four, and. Well, let's keep the eighth notes nice and even. We don't want to bunch them together. Okay, now let's look at number 46, Skill Builder Processional Dance. Let's finger and count the first four measures. Here we go. Fingering and counting. Look at your key signature so we're also making sure we're fingering every B flat and every E flat. Here we go. Finger and count. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, four, and half note, half note. All right, let's play those, four, those first four measures. Here we go. One, two, ready. Now, none of those slurs were natural slurs, so we will have to tongue each one of those notes with a nice legato. So now let's look at the second ending. Let's finger and count the second inning, remembering that key signature of B flats and E flats. Here we go. Ready now. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. So let's play that now. Ready? One, two, second ending. <laughs> Now that we've broken this up into smaller pieces, after you work on these small pieces, now you're ready to go all the way through. So let's play all the way through 46 together. One, two, here we go. Keep backing the video up and going through this until you can play through it without making any mistakes. Okay, this is line 47, Baja Breeze. This would be a test item, so we want to spend a little extra time working on this line. So let's finger and count the first four measures. First, we have to look at that key signature at the beginning again. The first flat on the second line tells us that every B is flat. The second flat that's on the third space tells us that every E is flat which leaves our A's to be natural in second position. So let's finger and count. Here we go. One, two, finger and count. Now, 
one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, rest. So we'll move that slide very quickly using your wrist as well as your elbow to move from position to position. Let's play the first four measures of 47 now. Here we go. One, two, ready, now. Okay, now let's look at the second ending. Let's say and finger the second ending. Say the counts and finger, remembering that we have B flats and E flats and our A's are natural and second. Here we go. Ready? Now. One, two, three, four, and one. Rest. Three and four. So let's play that second ending together. One, two, second ending. Now let's play all the way through number 47. One. Two, Okay, now that we've gone all the way through it, keep backing that up and going over it and over it until you have it worked out completely and you're ready to play it for a test. 